Green to talk to me. And what's your name? Sheila. Sheila. Lovely to meet you. So I hear a very strong Irish accent here. Uh, uh, do you live in the Marlborough area? I live in Pusey. In Pusey. In Pusey, yes. Pusey. And uh, I just wondered how you feel about Brexit. Absolutely disgusted, quite frankly. And which um, I am Brexit. Yes, I yes, I'm disgusted. It's desperate. Can't believe it. But we are where we are, and there's no going back. You I mean, don't think there's any going back? I doubt it. Well, who's going to take us back? Like, well, the I will. Part is not. <laughs> the Labour Party is not going to do it. They won't commit to that. So no, I don't think there's any going back. I don't know who would take us back in, and I'm not even sure that. You know, it was just on the news this morning about the, the immigrants. People blame the immigrants on every on everything. If the cat had kittens, they blame the immigrants on it. But I mean, look at the mess we're in now because of Brexit. So yes, you'd take us back in. What's your name then? <laughs> My name is Liz. I definitely take us back in. Yeah, yeah. We yeah, need to get back in. Yes, I farm and for food, oh, yes, we yes, need to get I back in. If we that. want to be sure of food well, security, see, this is the other thing you've started me now on Brexit because. <laughs> Boris Johnson, with, with all his get bre- let's get Brexit done, gave no consideration at all to the problems that would come up in the Northern Ireland situation because Northern Ireland is the only one with the border with Europe. Yes, well, he lied. Of course he lied. Is that a, pro- is that a, a surprise <laughs> to anybody? <laughs> I'm still amazed that people can say... Well, it doesn't really matter whether he lied or not. He lied for about everything. He's lied from the day of dot. No, you'd and have knew to, that before they put him in. You'd have to wonder why any woman would fall for that guy, haven't you? <laughs> oh, Christ, yes. I, uh, yes. <laughs> so tell yes. me, we're going to have an election very soon, mm, well. within, within the next 12 months, for sure, but it's probably going to come sooner rather than later. I know what and what do me. you normally vote? Well, I know what you're going to ask me, but quite frankly, in this area, you could vote for a blow-up doll and the Conservatives would still get in. I will never, I will never ever um, spoil a vote. I do vote, but um, I am not. there's no point in voting for anything because the Conservatives all get in. It's Wiltshire. This, this seat is changing. You know, it's, it's becoming East Wiltshire. And the current um, MP, Danny Kruger, is quite controversial because yes, he's very he far to the right. Yes. Um, and he's not a particularly popular MP, particularly nope. with women. No. Um, so you might be in for a change. But what do you normally, what will you vote next election? Well, I would, I, I vote Labour. You always vote Labour. Yeah. But I'm not sure about Keir Starmer, you see. And I mean, not sure, I think, is this our bus? Is this the bus? Sorry. You're not sure about Keir Starmer? Sorry. But if he doesn't do well, they'll kick him out. Uh, maybe get Ber- Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you. <laughs> and what's your name? Uh, Declan. Declan. Another Irish name? Ethan. Are you old enough to vote? Not yet. Not yet. Well, you won't be able to vote in the next election? Uh, um, I'm not sure. I probably... Yeah, probably. When, you, when are you 18? August. Um, May, so... <gasps> May! You're, you might come in for it. Maybe not. And if you can vote, what will you vote? Well, Labour is probably the best option right now. So. I'd vote Labour as well, in all fairness. And do you think your friends at school feel the same? Yes, definitely. What's yeah. the biggest thing that you're worried about going forward? What concerns you? Economic, fiscal policy. Just, just oh, I was just about to say the economy, really. Because, as we all know, inflation isn't great at the moment. So we've got to try and find someone that's going to bring it down. And what do you hope to do when you finish at college? Uh, go on into the fire service. Oh, well, I'm currently doing a politics course. So. Oh, well, you're perfect for us. You're perfectly uh, an MP. I do I want to change things, hopefully. I don't know. It's not... One man can't really change much. But well, they can. Keir Starmer might be about to change things. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's hope so, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think we should have votes at 16? Yes. Yeah. So if you were Prime Minister, tell me three things that you'd change. If you were Prime Minister tomorrow, what would you do? Lower the voting age. I'd probably change it to proportional representation as well, to uh, 
to better represent the people. Um, and what would be the third? Probably make Brexit work because it's not working. <laughs> How are you going to make Brexit work? I don't know. Renegotiate a deal, hopefully. There is no renegotiation. But I thought Keir Starmer said that in his manifest that he should... Well, he needs to speak to Europe. There is no renegotiation. There's, a, there's tinkering of the deal. The only way that you get any fundamental change is by agreeing to rejoin. That, that How would you feel about rejoining? I'd, I'd do it today. Yeah, um, I'd probably try and bring the economy back up again. Probably try and what's the word I'm looking for improve relations with other countries like Russia for example but why? Like they're, they're not to, re to reduce the chances of a mass war Fair enough. good peacekeeping yeah. yeah and that's about all I've would got would you like to have another vote on Brexit? I think a lot of me would like to very much yes because I think um we're very close to the European Union in terms of, of um, mileage um, and I think that we, we did do quite a lot for the European Union. It wasn't just that they did a lot for us and I think one needs to look quite carefully at what that would mean, whether it would be a, um, a joining on and outside, you know, doing a certain number of things with the Union. I think that would be quite helpful like to say anything of particularly about the Conservative government. It's not something I feel particularly strongly about. Public services have been struggling in the last 15 years um, and because I know they keep saying money's going up but in real terms it's not. But uh, there's no doubt that the NHS is struggling. Oh, the NHS is struggling enormously but what happened a long time ago was that an enormous number of administrators were put into the NHS. And if you get me started on that, I can talk about it. For it was Margaret Thatcher. Thatcher, ah. It was going You right didn't back. want to talk about the Conservatives. <laughs> well, um, what I feel very strongly about is the health service, having worked for 40 odd years in it. I, I feel immensely strongly about it, as I've seen what's happened to the number of people who are not members of the health service, but come in as administrators. And they're very nice, but don't get me wrong, they're lovely. But we used to do a certain amount of training for all the different of professions who were able to administer with knowledge um, their own services and integrate within the whole of the thing to produce a, a completely rounded mental, uh, well, mental and physical health service. And that's not happening anymore. And have you always voted for the same party all your life, or do you vote on, are you a floating voter? No, I haven't. I've, I've, I have often voted for the Conservatives, but I have voted for other parties as well. And um, any ideas what you're going to vote in the, in the upcoming election? No, because I haven't seen what they're putting into their um, manifestos. And one last question. When you vote in a general election, do you vote for the Prime Minister, or do you vote for the MP, the local MP? It's a bit of, of, of both, but probably more um, in percentage-wise for the Prime Minister, because I think he's going to be the important one in the end. Because ultimately you can only vote for your MP in first yes. past the post. Yes, <laughs> but that's, um, that's one of the difficulties of the way in which we live, and I think that's probably the way we're going to go. That in a seat like this, which has always been Conservative, um, the only way to get change is to vote for the MP that's coming forward um, next election. And it is in this seat, if you're in East Wiltshire, the new seat, it'll be Danny Kruger. And he's very far right. Yes, but it depends on whether he listens to what I want or not. So that's <laughs> he really definitely what governs... doesn't listen. <laughs> <laughs> That'll govern what I say and what he I do. He doesn't listen to his mother. Oh, well... <laughs> I can't comment on anybody <laughs> listening to their mother these days. <laughs> it's not a possibility. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. It's really been a pleasure, pleasure to meet you.